How's it going? It's Milton Music here today with another tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about three ways to reverse audio in Logic Pro X. Let's get started. First way is you're going to select the audio file that you want reversed. This is a cymbal sound, so just to show you what it sounds like. Just a basic cymbal. Alright. Now, so we're going to get started by selecting it, clicking E on our editor. And actually, before you do that, I want to show you why I don't like this way. So I'm going to select this region. I'm going to duplicate it. All right. Now, um, with our original region selected, I'm going to click the File tab in our editor. And I'm going to go down to Functions and click Reverse. All right. The key command here is Control Shift R. So I'm going to click Reverse. And notice when I do that, it doesn't just reverse one audio file, or sorry, it doesn't just reverse one region here, it reverses every region, because that's the same audio file being reversed because we went to the file editor, all right? So now, that's one way of doing it. And I don't like that because it reverses every single region. So unless I wanted every single, reverse, single region reversed, I don't prefer this way. The second way to do it is, so I'm gonna delete the second region there. I am going to bring this region back to normal, okay, is if I was to bounce this region, okay, bounce in place, um, let's do a mute track, and I'll mute the original region, okay, so now we have the file that's bounced into a separate, uh, separate file, so actually I'm going to unmute this, uh, just because I want you to see what happens when we go about doing it this way, so this is the bounce region right here, this is the original one, okay? So if I reverse this bounced one right here in the same process that we used before, okay, it only reverses this region, all right? So that is, that's a pro to doing it this way because if you do it this way and you bounce it, then you reverse the bounce file, it does not affect the original symbol sound that you had it, if you wanted to keep it, whatever you wanted to do, okay? And now, the third way, all right, the third way is the way that I like the best. So I'm going to delete that new audio track I created. So this is the third way. So if I create a copy of this audio region, I'll even create multiple here just to show you how it works. Um, I'm going to click the region that I want reversed, okay? I'm going to go to our inspector window here, open up the region and I'm going to go to more and there's going to be an option here for a box called reverse. I'm going to click reverse. So if you do it this way in the region inspector window, then it only reverses that one region. It doesn't reverse the whole file. It just affects the region there. Now, if I wanted to reverse this region the same way, it would reverse that region. And if I wanted to reverse this region, it would reverse that region. So now it sounds something like this. Okay. Well, that region still sounds the same. It has the same symbol effect. It's not a reverse symbol. Whereas this one. Was reversed. All right. So those are three ways, very simple, very quick, straight to the point um, methods on reversing audio in Logic Pro X. All right, if you liked the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me support the channel, and I'm looking forward to posting more tutorial videos in the future. Take care.